No better feeling than the radiant horizon opening up for the Cybertruck, not letting down the anticipation of fans. Tesla offers 340 miles for the dual motor and 320 miles for the Cybertruck beast, but the range is extended up to 470 miles. And after a four-year wait, we finally get some pretty satisfying specs, even if they differ from what Tesla publicly announced in 2019. Additionally, the acceleration time of 2.6 seconds payload and towing capacities have been confirmed with the most accurate figures in the event. So, how will the Cybertruck specs establish its position in the market? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Giga Texas had its most special afternoon in 2023. Did you catch the delivery event on X a few hours ago? It's quite enjoyable that it's no longer just speculation. All have been exposed with a number. Now, Drag Race and F1 expansion have found a champion. How Elon Musk revealed the real range and specifications of Cybertruck compared to the information that the Cybertruck would only achieve a range of around 267 to 290 miles as leaked on the Cybertruck screen on previous platforms, 340 miles is a clear vindication for Tesla's truck, even if it's not significantly more. Specifically, on the Tesla order page, all specifications for the variants have been publicly disclosed. The dual motor variant is listed with a range of 340 miles, while the tri-motor, also known as the Cyberbeast, is stated to achieve 320 miles. However, these ranges are just the initial figures, According to Teslarati, when fully expanded, the dual motor variant could potentially reach up to 440 miles, and the Cyberbeast could achieve 470 miles a range quite close to the 500 miles mentioned back in 2019. With such impressive ranges, it is undoubtedly a game changer, poised to surpass competitors often brought into comparison, such as the Rivian R1T or Phone 150. For an easy comparison, the EPA estimated maximum range for the Ford F-150 Lightning is 320 miles on a single charge. This range is achieved through an extended range battery available across all trim levels, with the standard battery providing a maximum range of 230 miles. The Rivian R1T, according to EPA estimates, has a maximum range of 314 miles on a single charge, achieved with the largest battery option. The R1T also offers a smaller battery with a maximum range of 267 miles. No longer relying on leaks, Tesla has directly disclosed the weights for both variants, allowing customers to escape prolonged curiosity. We will have a weight of 7,435 LBs for the dual motor and a higher 10,296 LBs for the tri-motor, which, in our assessment, is a heavier figure compared to competitors. So, does this impact performance? The answer is no, because not only stop at range and weight, but we also extend our greatest admiration to Elon Musk for creating such impressive specifications for this pickup truck. Regarding the performance figures Elon Musk newly disclosed, the tri-motor achieves an impressive acceleration from 0 to 60 mph in just 2.6 seconds, while the dual motor maintains a respectable 4.1 seconds for the same acceleration. Elon Musk added a touch of reality to the testing by pitting the Cybertruck against a brand new 2023 Porsche 911 to assess its quarter-mile capabilities. Although the Cybertruck may have a direct acceleration competition with the sports car to make the fight hotter, the pickup truck challenged the 911 by towing it for acceleration. The result, as Elon Musk stated Cybertruck beats a Porsche 911 while towing a 911. Regarding payload and towing, the specifications for both variants match exactly as displayed on posters in at least 15 North American showrooms before. They allow for a payload of 2,500 ELBs and a towing capacity of 11,000 LBs for both versions. During the delivery event, Elon Musk had the audience cheering with a comparison showcasing Cybertruck's towing capability of 40,000 LBs, surpassing the capacities of commonly compared competitors. True to predictions, 
the Cybertruck has proven itself to be the king of the pickup truck segment by completing a 40,000-pound pull at 318 feet, surpassing the Rivian R1T with 257 feet, the Ford F-150 Lightning with 207 feet, and the Ford F-350 Diesel with 263 feet. Not stopping there, the Cybertruck's air suspension system is truly outstanding beyond expectations. According to information we received from X, engineers mentioned that the vehicle's build quality is genuinely excellent and has been improved to accommodate up to 420 liters of air. In terms of horsepower, we will have 600 horsepower for the dual motor and 845 horsepower for the Beast version. Do you remember Beast Mode version? According to Tesla, CyberBeast features a rear drive unit with dual induction machines active torque vectoring and an electromechanical front locking differential producing a combined 845 hp many customers are looking to move to the us right now so they can experience this beast mode firsthand why might beast mode version be applied on cybertruck plaid the cybertruck's release accompanied by an impressive range and acceleration figures immediately evoked elon musk's earlier mention of the beast mode version just the name itself conjures images of something intense and powerful. Details about it were added in the Tesla app update 4.27. 3. From the uploaded video, we can observe that it bears a remarkable resemblance to the imagery seen on Plaid models, indicating that this feature will be exclusive to Cybertruck's tri-motor variant, or the special played version to strongly suggest its impressive acceleration capabilities. We're aiming to get the 0 to 60 below 3 seconds. Below 3? Yes. Wow. For the, you know, the beast mode version. So we've got a beast mode version then. According to Musk's mentions on this mode, the Cybertruck is capable of accelerating in under three seconds, falling around the 2.9 second range, similar to what the manufacturer disclosed for the 2019 triple motor Cybertruck. There's no longer any room for debate that Tesla has invested significantly to ensure that a pickup truck can achieve such impressive speeds. We've learned that Beast Mode is designed for those craving more power and higher speeds. This variant amplifies the already outstanding capabilities of the standard model. The Beast Mode is anticipated to feature a more powerful battery, advanced motors, and a finely tuned suspension system, all geared towards delivering superior acceleration and handling capabilities. Not stop there. The Cybertruck Beast Mode is considered an upgraded performance version of the already impressive Tesla Cybertruck and could be akin to a Cybertruck Plaid, as this mode seems to be aiming for exclusivity within a distinct variant. Stringing together events related to the Cybertruck Plaid, we firmly believe that we will see this variant 100%, whether it's sooner or later, possibly as early as 2024. Firstly, Elon Musk himself confirmed this variant in 2020, and a Cybertruck with a motor similar to the one in the Model S played was also confirmed by insiders, including Matthew Donegan Ryan. We are considering it to be a triple motor pickup truck, with the front motor leveraging Plaid technology to deliver more powerful performance than conventional motors. There will be only one name chosen for this variant because we believe that performance, ludicrous, and Plaid all signify the same Cybertruck rather than distinct variants. The highest likelihood is Plaid, as it has been explicitly mentioned by Tesla's owners. More crucial than the Plaid motor is Tesla's most advanced technology at present, considering that the quad motor is still an unknown factor. Before the event concluded, we noticed some previously unseen accessories that piqued our interest. Basecamp, an accessory poised to enhance the versatility of the Cybertruck, particularly stood out. It appears to be a tent affixed to the bed of the Cybertruck, a combination that promises customers a camping experience as comfortable and secure as we have come to expect. While detailed pricing information is still unavailable, this accessory is expected to be sold for a maximum of around $500, making it suitable for those seeking outdoor adventures with their Cybertruck. Many Cybertruck enthusiasts have hoped for an integrated light bar above the windshield. While it hasn't been incorporated into production, Tesla seems prepared to offer it as an optional accessory. The app update indicates the availability of this highly anticipated feature, which has been spotted on some prototype Cybertrucks. Whether navigating off-road terrain or simply desiring to make a statement, the optional light bar will add an intriguing accent to the Cybertruck's exterior. 
So how do you feel about the official Cybertruck range after the delivery event and what do you think about Beast Mode version for Cybertruck Plaid, an indispensable feature to attract performance enthusiasts? What do you think about the official prices of the Cybertruck? $69,990, $79,990, and $99,990. Honestly, we can see that many customers might be disappointed, expecting a lower price as initially anticipated. However, let's stay positive by considering the $7,500 discount or the impressive features that you can experience with this pickup truck. Its performance is worth it. Nevertheless, we also pay attention to power share and its accompanying accessories because they transform the Cybertruck into a mobile home for shelter and power supply. Why is PowerShare the most advanced utility of Cybertruck? After the delivery event ended, alongside the remarkable performance aspects such as accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.6 seconds or completing a 40,000 pound pull at 318 feet, among many other things, we also paid considerable attention to some other features and accessory packages. Firstly, there is the bi-directional charging, PowerShare. As we understand it, Tesla's Cybertruck bi-directional power share charging provides up to 30 kilowatt hours per day, and it can supply less or more energy depending on the actual energy usage. This feature will enable Cybertruck owners to provide power to camping equipment, electrical tools, or even their entire homes in case of a power outage, simply by using their electric truck as a mobile power generator. Specifically, PowerShare is evidently Tesla's new bi-directional charging feature, seemingly encompassing V2L, V2H, and V2V capabilities. Among these, V2L refers to the ability to power devices from the vehicle through five outlets, two 120-volt 20A outlets on the truck bed and cabin each, and one 240-volt 40A outlet on the truck bed. This can be utilized for work tools, camping, or other essential mobile power needs. Tesla has confirmed that the Cybertruck has a continuous power output of 9.6 kilowatts distributed across the vehicle's outlets. For V2H, the Cybertruck has an output power of 11.5 kilowatts from the system, allowing it to provide power to a home in case of a power outage or unstable grid. Tesla states that PowerShare can supply energy to a home for over three days, assuming that the home consumes an average of 30 kilowatt hours per day. While Powerwall is quite convenient at present, when compared to the Cybertruck, this pickup truck has a higher continuous output power at 11.5 kilowatts, whereas the Powerwall is set at 5 kilowatts. Lastly, for V2V, Tesla also mentions that PowerShare will have the ability to use the electrical architecture or the Cybertruck's battery to charge another electric vehicle. Images of the Cybertruck charging a Model Y have surfaced, and we are excited about this utility. With the NEMA 1450 outlet at the rear, which is almost a standard for electric vehicle charging, it adds to the convenience. As of now, PowerShare is exclusive to the Cybertruck, but the fact that Tesla has given it a distinct name suggests that it may be present in other vehicle models in the future. How will additional accessories make Cybertruck more versatile? Not limited to just being a pickup truck or a regular off-road vehicle, with the addition of supplementary accessories, the Tesla Cybertruck can play the role of a small mobile home for camping adventures, with the base camp or also called the Cybertruck tent. Base camp is sold at a price of $2,975, and is neatly fitted into the truck bed, making it quite intriguing. According to the images provided by Tesla, Base Camp still allows ample space underneath for you to use the bed for storage. Base Camp features an ultralight, geodesic airframe design and can be quickly inflated within minutes using a manual pump without the need for any structural poles. A tactical gray kaleidoscope pattern nylon interior keeps you safe from the elements while screen windows allow for airflow to keep you comfortable. Relax on an ultra soft mattress while taking in a view of the stars. We also knew that this accessory allows you to use the outlets on the truck bed to charge your devices. The weather resistant outer shell with an extendable awning enhances protection. Utilize the tent mode on the vehicle's touchscreen for an enhanced camping experience. 
When we visit the Tesla online store, this Cyber Wheel cover is available for $75 per cover, offering a budget-friendly option for customers who appreciate accessories or want to keep their wheels clean from mud. However, it may not be suitable for customers who want to showcase the unique wheels of this pickup truck. Do you remember the matte black? Cybertrucks that frequently appeared before the delivery event? It received mixed opinions, with some thinking that the Cybertruck would look cooler with this option, while others believed it didn't showcase the essence of the stainless steel that defines the unique character of the Cybertruck. Now, it has been officially added to the accessories available for purchase on the Tesla store, priced at $6,500 for both matte black and matte white. We prefer white as it gives a brighter feel to the Cybertruck. The price is also not excessively high when compared to the vinyl wraps for Model Y or Model 3 that can go up to $8,500. Also in the delivery event, Elon Musk and Franz reprised the glass testing event from 2019. But humorously, it was no longer a steel ball, but rather a baseball. This story gained the most discussion after the delivery event, with many suggesting that Tesla was more cautious with the glass panels, considering the memorable incident from 2019. To commemorate this, Tesla has playfully released the Cybertruck OMFG decal featuring the cracked bulletproof glass priced at $55 for this lighthearted touch. Moreover, for customers who intend to protect their latest Cybertruck but don't want to use the vinyl wraps, the Cybertruck satin clear paint film is a worthy investment at $5,000. It will be based on self-healing urethane and shield the pickup truck from minor scratches and abrasions. Notably, it will cover all exterior stainless steel surfaces and is more environmentally friendly than traditional vinyl wraps. Last month, we received information that Cybertruck would not come with a tailgate ramp when we purchased the pickup, and it had been removed. Fortunately, it is now available for purchase at an affordable price of just $400. This accessory will enhance the appearance of the pickup truck and make it more convenient for loading goods out of the truck bed. If you want to maximize your storage space for bikes, gear racks, and more, the Cybertruck crossbars priced at $800 are designed and manufactured to help you transport all your cargo anywhere, anytime with a load rating of 200 pounds. According to Tesla, this accessory will be easily removable. The powder-coated aluminum crossbars have T-slots for easy attachment of compatible accessories, such as a ski rack, bike rack, and cargo box. However, we believe that with the Cybertruck's super wide bed, this accessory may be redundant and should be considered carefully before purchase. Finally, an accessory we think would be essential for customers living in areas with heavy winter snowfall, such as California or New York, to enhance the Cybertruck's traction is the snow chains priced at $345. According to Tesla, the Koenig XD16 Pro Snow Chain provides superior traction, driving comfort, and performance in snowy conditions. Easy to install, the patented micro-regulation system offers perfect chain self-tensioning and excellent traction, approved for Tesla manufactured 20-inch wheels and Tesla approved 20-inch tires for Cybertruck. These accessories are quite intriguing, even if they're not absolutely necessary to compel you to make a purchase. However, they will add more highlights, features, and flexibility to the Cybertruck, making it versatile beyond its role as a means of transportation. Additionally, thanks to the bi-directional charging power share design, the Cybertruck demonstrates itself as a powerful and superior pickup in a vast truck market. Imagining it powering other vehicles like Model Y, Model 3, or the future Model 2 makes it even cooler. With the Cybertruck, your home won't have to worry about darkness during a power outage as it is even better than a power wall. All accessories have one thing in common. They help Cybertruck improve flexibility and increase customer experience with its future pickup truck. So, how do you feel about the power share feature and accessories that expand the Cybertruck's role? Additionally, do you think that Cybertruck's price is an obstacle to attracting customers? We appreciate your contributions. There's something uh, in the truck world called a, a truck pull. This is really the, the, the key test of how much power does your truck actually have. Elon Musk has revealed an impressive fact about the Cybertruck's towing capacity on the November 30th delivery day. To carry out the extraordinary capabilities of an electric pickup, 
the Cybertruck has completely led the towing race with a weight capacity of up to 40,000 pounds. The tri-motor Cybertruck variant easily won over the competition because of its maximum capacity of up to 845 horsepower and torque of 10,296 pound-foot. The short delivery date left us with too many questions needing to be answered. How does Tesla prove Cybertruck's power? The final Cybertruck will offer three different drivetrain configurations. At launch, dual-motor and tri-motor models will be available, providing four-wheel drive. However, a single-motor rear-wheel drive variant is promised to join Tesla's product lineup in 2025. According to reports, the Cybertruck dual-motor, with a power of 600 horsepower, will reach 60 miles an hour in just 3.9 seconds and have a top speed of 112 miles an hour. Those seeking optimal performance will appreciate the Cyberbeast, the tri-motor version generating a total power of up to 845 horsepower. Tesla claims it will propel the truck from 0 to 60 in 2.6 seconds, with a maximum speed of 130 miles an hour. To achieve these impressive figures, Tesla has made specific improvements to the Cybertruck's drivetrain. For the tri-motor variant, this involves a combination of a dual-motor drivetrain at the rear and a single-motor drivetrain at the front. In the tri-motor variant, the Cyberbeast will feature a dual-motor setup at the rear axle and an electronically controlled front axle locking differential. Unlocking the front axle allows each wheel to rotate at different speeds, such as during turns, preventing tire scrubbing. Simultaneously, it maintains a consistent torque for each wheel on the rear axle, ensuring that even though the wheels may rotate at different speeds, they exert the same rotational force even when one wheel is completely stationary and the other is turning. Additionally, improvements lie in the design of the electronic circuit board inside the drivetrain, aiding the Cybertruck in showcasing its towing capabilities compared to competitors. Conversely, when the differential is locked, it forces both the left and right wheels on the same axle to rotate at the same speed in most cases, regardless of the difference in traction on one of the wheels. Thus, each wheel can exert the maximum rotational force allowed by the traction underneath it, and the torque on each side of the axle will be unevenly distributed, suitable for off-road terrain. Additionally, all Cybertrucks feature an adjustable air suspension system that can be raised or lowered while in motion providing up to 17 inches of ground clearance. Combined with a 35-degree approach angle and a 28-degree departure angle, the Tesla pickup can prove itself as a formidable off-road machine. Looking back to 2019, Musk mentioned that the Cybertruck would be available in single-motor, dual-motors, and tri-motor configurations. At that time, specific output power was not disclosed, but there were rumors of a potential 800 horsepower for the plaid version. The maximum performance was locked in at 2.9 seconds for the 0 to 60 mile per hour acceleration, with a quarter mile time announced as 10.8 seconds. Regarding the range, the 2019 Cybertruck concept claimed a range of 250 miles for the base version, with a mid range option offering 300 miles and a long range truck reaching 500 miles. As of now, it appears that there have been improvements in these figures. Most drivers always want their vehicles to respond to their driving skills quickly and immediately. In this regard, Tesla has confirmed the capability of steer-by-wire, a feature that enables the truck to be agile, addressing the challenges that the yoke design may pose. The steer-by-wire mechanism allows the Cybertruck to vary steering input to create similar motion in turning the wheels. When the vehicle is moving at high speeds, you wouldn't want minor steering inputs to cause excessive reactions that could be dangerous, potentially leading to accidents. However, at low speeds, such as when making a five-point turn, you'd want to be able to turn the wheels quickly while minimizing the impact on the steering wheel. The steer-by-wire system, due to the absence of a fixed link between the steering wheel and the wheels, allows Tesla to provide a different steering ratio at different speeds for the Cybertruck. When both the steer-by-wire and four-wheel steering features are combined, the Cybertruck is poised to become the most agile and versatile pickup truck on the market. Its deployment marks a game-changing factor, offering drivers enhanced maneuverability and competitive turning radius compared to most sedan models. Elon Musk has likened it to a fighter jet, stating that if you tilt the axis just a bit in the parking lot, the vehicle can make a tight turn, but on the highway, it adapts to the speed of a pickup truck. The major issue with the yoke when equipped on the Model S and Model X 
lies in the steering ratio. The steering ratio doesn't change, meaning that sometimes there may be too many turns of the yoke required to control the vehicle at slow speeds. Horizontal turning in traffic may be uncomfortable, if not hazardous, as Tesla drivers may struggle to maneuver the yoke around its limited grips. Recently, more electric vehicles have been following this path, with companies like Toyota and Lexus implementing similar systems, although these systems have not been widely deployed yet. Furthermore, the elimination of mechanical connections between the steering wheel and the car's wheels has other advantages in the era of electric vehicles. Discarding mechanical components frees up significant amount of space and weight, making the cabin larger or providing space elsewhere. It's also seen as a bridge between human-controlled cars and fully autonomous capabilities, which is something we know Tesla's pursuing. Lastly, it provides an impressive airplane-like driving experience. How has the Cybertruck shown its toughness against impacts? Tesla had previously made numerous complaints about the bulletproof capabilities of its doors. And now, Tesla has showcased its crash test, allowing us to see how they handle such situations, with bullets seemingly shattering upon contact with a stainless steel shell without any impact on the cabin. You know, one day there might be a headline saying, the Cybertruck saved my life, not in an accident, but in a gunfire incident. That'd be remarkable, but what we find most intriguing is the prospect of stronger bulletproof glass, an area that Tesla will focus on researching and developing in the future. When asked why Elon Musk wants to create a bulletproof vehicle and why it couldn't happen, so the possibility of the Cybertruck being equipped with bulletproof glass could indeed materialize. Another aspect that seems to demonstrate that the Cybertruck is indeed a safety fortress for humans is the impressive results of the crash test, which we may have doubted prior to its release. Firstly, in terms of safety during a full frontal collision, most of the impact that the Cybertruck has to endure is concentrated in the front bumper. However, the windshield appears to only crack without shattering forward. We can contrast this with the results of the crash test for the F-150 Lightning, where everything seems fine initially, but the rear glass succumbs to the inertia, immediately shattering. This isn't observed in the Cybertruck, even though they're both moving at the same speed as required by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, which is 35 miles an hour. Furthermore, we can confirm that Cybertruck is the most rigorously tested vehicle model in terms of testing methods and different types of terrain. When Tesla engineers continuously test the durability of metal panels with impacts from hammers, small bumps in everyday life, and amazingly, scratches seem to occur less often than what we imagined. From the rollover test video, it strongly suggests that the Cybertruck exhibits exceptional resistance to rollovers in the event of a car accident. The vehicle gracefully tilts at a 45 degree angle during the test and promptly reverts to its original position on the plane. This impressive performance is likely attributed to the substantial weight of the battery pack situated on the floor, contributing significantly to upholding the overall stability of the Cybertruck. What do you think about these impressive improvements to Cybertruck? And are you ready to own one? Feel free to give your opinions about Cybertruck, and we hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching our video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting that bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.